In this video, I'll show you how to change YouTube channel names step by step and the key things that you need to know before you do it. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and all the links to everything we mention, you can find in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now there's a few reasons that you might want a YouTube channel name change for a rebrand or for a fancy new channel name idea. But the good news is, is that it's not hard, but there are a few steps that you don't wanna miss to prevent any downstream issues. So we're gonna walk you through the full process right now along with everything that you need to know to get it done right. So the first thing to be aware of is that there's actually two different types of YouTube channels. There is a personal channel and also a brand or a business account channel. Now the process for changing your YouTube channel name for either one of those two types of accounts is going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to show you for both scenarios so that you're covered. But the biggest difference between the two is that a personal account is linked to an individual email address, whereas a brand account, you can have multiple managers or multiple people assigned to help you manage and run that channel. So we're gonna tackle your personal account and changing the name on your personal account first, and then we'll move into the brand or the business account after that. Now, if you're not sure what type of account you've got, let's figure that out first. So you wanna head over to your YouTube channel and make sure you're signed into the right account. You then wanna open up YouTube Studio, then come down to the bottom left corner for settings, then over to channel, advanced settings, and scroll to the bottom. And down here, you wanna open up manage YouTube account. So in here, if you already have a brand account, you'll see here you have the option for channel managers and you can add or remove managers for your channel. This is telling you you have a brand or a business account. If you have a personal account, then this is what you'll see. No mention at all of channel managers. Okay, so we're gonna look at changing the name on a personal channel first, because there's a little bit more involved, and then I'll show you how to do it on a brand channel as well. Okay, so I'm on my test personal account now, and we're gonna change the name of this channel. Currently just my first name and last name, Justin Brown. So if we come down the bottom here to settings, over to channel, and then here, this is where they're giving you the option to edit your channel name. It says to edit your channel name, you need to visit your Google account because this account is linked directly to my Google account. So if I select on this, then this is where we can change your channel name. But the biggest gotcha here is that you can only enter in a first name and a last name because this is still a personal account. So to be able to name our channel absolutely anything at all, we need to actually convert it from a personal account over to a brand account and then we can name it whatever we want. So we'll cancel out of this now and close this window, go back to our YouTube channel. So come back over to advanced settings. Again, we're just under settings down the bottom left-hand corner, advanced settings, scroll right to the bottom, and let's choose manage YouTube account. Now in order here to be able to move this YouTube channel over to a brand account, we first need to create a brand account or a brand channel. So we're gonna go here, add or manage your channels. So you can see here we've got our main primal video channel. I've also got this personal channel here, this temporary account that we're about to move. And there's some other ones that are blurred out that I am a manager of as well. So we're gonna go up here to create a new channel. And don't worry, we're still gonna be moving our old one over into this new one. And now we get to give that channel a name. So let's call it Justin's Super Awesome Channel. Amazing name. And hit create. So we now have a new channel called Justin's Super Awesome Channel. Now here, you wanna switch this account back to the account that you wanna to change to. So you wanna hit on the little profile picture at the top there, come down to switch account, and you wanna select the channel that you wanna move. So I'll select my personal one here. Then you wanna go back into your YouTube Studio dashboard area, again, for the old channel, down to settings, channel, advanced settings, then down to manage YouTube account, now you wanna hit here, view advanced settings. And then down towards the bottom here, you can see that you can move channel to a brand account. So if we select on this one, it's now gonna let us select down the bottom here, Justin's super awesome channel, which is a brand account. Now you're gonna get a little message pop up saying there's already a YouTube channel that is associated with this account. Do you wanna delete it? And yes, we're gonna delete that because it's a brand new channel that we had to create. It's got zero subscribers, no videos, and no playlists. So you wanna double check that you've got the right one there, and then you wanna hit delete channel. And this is where you can verify that this move is going to happen for you. So you can see that we're moving my old channel, my personal channel in the name of Justin Brown, which had four subscribers and one video, no playlists, and it was connected to my personal Google account. 
and my channel after we move it is going to still have four subscribers, one video and no playlist, but the channel name is going to be Justin's Super Awesome Channel. And it is now a brand account. So what we need to do then is hit move channel and it's popping up another confirmation box here, letting you know that your channel name and icon will be updated across YouTube. Your channel URL will not actually change, so you're gonna keep the same one. But it does give you the warning that some of your content can't be transferred and that your YouTube comments can't be moved. So if you'd responded to people's comments or you'd left comments on your own videos, then those will not be transferred over with your new account. But all the comments from everyone else on all of your videos will still be there. Now, the last thing to be aware of before you hit that move channel button there is that if you already have a custom URL for your channel, so you're already past 100 subscribers and you've claimed a custom URL, then this won't transfer over in this process. You will need to contact YouTube support and get them to link up your previous channel custom URL to your new channel as well. And I've heard that this can be done relatively quickly, but I've also heard some people waiting up to a month for that to actually happen. So all that's left to do here is just select move channel and it's gonna happen for us. Your YouTube channel has been successfully moved. Your channel now is called Justin's Super Awesome Channel. And it says it might take up to 10 minutes for this to be completed. So we'll go okay. Now, because you just transferred your channel over to a brand account, you will need to switch over to that brand account to make sure that everything has come across. So again, you wanna come up to your profile picture in the top right-hand corner, come down to switch account, and in here, you're going to select your new channel, your new brand account, Justin's Super Awesome Channel. Now, don't worry, your thumbnail image or your avatar image and everything will come across. As I said, it might take up to 10 minutes. So if we select on this, and now let's go to our YouTube studio. You can see that the YouTube channel name is now Justin's Super Awesome Channel, and we still have our four subscribers on this channel. And we still have our videos, one video, 20 views. And you can see it's even kept our comments because there's still four comments on that video as well. So that's how you can change your YouTube channel name if you're on a personal account, you will need to transfer it over to a business or a brand account. Now, what if you wanna change the name of your business or your brand account? So to do that, you wanna head over to YouTube and make sure that you've got the right account selected and come down to settings and where it says your channel and your channel name, you can then select edit on Google just underneath that. Now in here under basic info, you've got your channel name. So we can just select on that, hit the little edit button you will need to verify your account. So just enter your password and we can enter a new channel name. Justin's really super awesome channel. Then we hit save and that change has now been applied. Now channel name has now changed. So if we head back over to YouTube now to verify that, our channel name here is now Justin's really super awesome channel. So you can see the process of changing your name if you're already on a brand account is far simpler than converting from a personal to a brand account and then changing your name. Now, whether you're on a personal or a brand account, if your channel has more than 100 subscribers and your channel is verified, then you can claim a custom URL. So that's where people can just go to youtube.com forward slash your channel name to be taken directly to your channel. So to check if you're eligible or to get this set up, you again wanna go back to your YouTube studio dashboard area. You wanna come down to settings, channel, over to advanced settings then scroll all the way to the bottom and select manage YouTube account. And then you wanna come down to view advanced settings. I mean, hey, YouTube, make this easier. Menus upon menus upon menus. And then you'll have the option down here for custom URL. And for me right now, it's saying that this channel is not currently eligible for a custom URL. So again, it says here to be able to get a custom URL, you need to have 100 or more subscribers have a channel that's at least 30 days old, you need to have a photo uploaded as a channel icon and have some channel art as well. But if you are eligible, there'll be a button there to click which will let you create your custom URL. So it really is that simple and you can actually change your custom URL up to three times per year. So it really is that simple. So now that you've changed your YouTube channel name, if you'd also like to know how to get your videos showing up on YouTube, actually having your videos rank in YouTube search and in suggestions, then check out the video linked on screen where we share our top three tools for helping you do just that. And I'll see you in the next one.